<sighs> Nothing like cracking open a fresh Apple computer. How's it going y'all? It is Ben Aqua and this is the all new MacBook Air M2 base model Starlight Edition. So let's just go ahead and get right in the box. This is incredibly thin. Look how small this looks. That's just insane. It looks like a really tiny MacBook Pro. Ooh, why is that so freaking satisfying? Ooh. Oh, okay, this is incredibly thin. Wow, and it's really lightweight, okay. So what else is it? Oh. <laughs> So this is all that's in the box that I'm throwing towards my face, apparently. We have the instruction manual, starlight color stickers. Awesome. So these will actually match the starlight color of the MacBook Air. And also in the box, we have a MagSafe adapter. There's USB-C on one side, and then we have MagSafe on the other. And then we also have a power block, which I believe is the 30 watt power block, which is pretty amazing. I mean, you can get a faster charge with, you know, a 65 watt or just a higher wattage charger, but 30 watts alone, a tiny power brick like this will charge a really beautiful tiny MacBook Air. So anyway, yeah, that's really it in the box. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for, the MacBook Air Starlight. Ooh, okay. Very delicate. There's a little something for the ASMR people. Very nice quality. And here we have it, y'all. MacBook Air M2 Starlight. The color looks absolutely beautiful and it doesn't leave any fingerprints other than on this mirror Apple logo. And that's the main reason why I got a starlight one versus the midnight black or whatever it's called. And yeah, first impressions, holy crap, this thing is incredibly thin. It's a lot lighter than I thought it would be. So this is the 14 inch MacBook Pro. This has been my main machine for many months since it came out basically. So the MacBook Air in comparison, it feels a little smaller. It feels definitely lighter. So here you can see the difference in thickness. The MacBook Air is on top there and the MacBook Pro is underneath. And what do I think about the starlight color? I mean, you can kind of see it when it flashes, when it catches some of that light. There is a bit of almost rose gold kind of vibe here. And that's one thing I love about the metal finish of Apple computers in general, like it reflects any color around really beautifully, but in most lighting situations, it's probably gonna look pretty silver. I'm definitely noticing the port selection here. We have two USB-C Thunderbolt, and then we have the MagSafe on one side, and then on the other side, we have a headphone jack, and that's really it in terms of I.O. Okay, so now let's open it up for the first time and let's see what happens. <sighs> Nothing like cracking open a fresh Apple computer. All right, it's already up and running and whoa, this display is really nice. Let's see if I can make this even brighter. So this is the brightest that the screen actually goes. It looks phenomenal. The screen is absolutely beautiful. I really like typing on the keyboard so far. What is my freaking iCloud password? I have read the terms and conditions. Of course, we all read the terms and conditions, right? And I don't know about y'all, but whenever I get a new computer, I don't like to restore from a backup. I like to just start over, start fresh on a new device. There's something fun about that. There's something magical about that. Comment down below if you are the same way. And also if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe down below and smash the like button. It really helps me out. I do like that it has the full function row there. It has touch ID on the keyboard, which is really nice. Media controls, we're in. Okay, so. Let's check this out. I'm pretty sure my iPhone, yeah, my iPhone is definitely thicker than this, even the bottom part, and it's so lightweight. I actually prefer the smaller footprint of this one, and even though this one doesn't have as many in and out ports, like there's no HDMI port on here, there's no SD card reader, that might be a little bit of a deal breaker for me on this as a content creator where I'm constantly taking the card out of my camera, putting into the computer. I love that about the MacBook Pro 14 inch. We have MagSafe, three Thunderbolt USB-C, headphone jack, which is really high quality, SD card slot, and HDMI out. The MacBook Pro has basically everything I need and I don't have to resort to using a dongle basically ever. Or on the MacBook Air M2, I would definitely have to use some kind of dongle. This is really a pared down device, I think, you know, just for people kind of similar to the previous MacBook Air that just want a really, really powerful computer, but they don't need a million in and out ports. They kind of just want a thinner, lighter, easier to carry. But yeah, let's open some stuff and see how fast this is. I'm just gonna open up everything. This is what I love to do. 
when I first get these M1, M2, et cetera machines, everything is opening up immediately, basically. I mean, if anything took its time with this, I would be a little bit like, what the hell is going on? Are you sure this is M2? As you can see, I just opened up like every single app on the dashboard and everything was like poof, 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 poof. So let's just go to a website and test out Safari, apple.com. There we go. I mean, is it really that different just from doing these initial tests from any other M1 machine? Not really. I mean, I'm definitely gonna have to do more testing on this using like Final Cut Pro and some Ableton Live versus my MacBook Pro for any machine that's beyond the Intel processor, like any M1 to M2. Every machine is basically incredibly fast and there's gonna be no problems with this in terms of speed until you do something like editing video, like 4K video layered on top of each other or 8K video. And yeah, I'll definitely have to test that out editing video on this machine, but I really doubt there's gonna be any problems with performance. The only times I've had performance problems are more RAM related with the M1 machines. And one thing I am curious about that I will test with y'all is this FaceTime camera because this is supposed to be a little bit better. Let's see, it looks pretty good. You know, I think it looks pretty good for a laptop. The headphone jack on the MacBook Air M2 is also supposed to be really good. It supports high impedance headphones, so it'll power a lot of really sensitive headphones that need a little more amplification. And it's already a little warm, I'm noticing. I have heard about overheating issues. So some of you may be wondering, should you get this M2 MacBook Air or should you get the M1 MacBook Air, which is $200 cheaper? And my answer to that is hell yeah, get the MacBook Air M2 all the way. It's $200 more expensive, but what you get is this beautiful updated design. You get this amazing notch. Just kidding, I hate the notch. And this design is just freaking nice. It's just so lightweight. And I love that it has a MagSafe charger now. That's a huge upgrade. You get a better webcam, you get the better processor. Performance wise, if you're doing basic stuff like just surfing the internet, checking your email, you don't really need, in my opinion, anything fancier than this base model of really any M1 and above machine. And the M2 is even better than the M1 base model. Are you gonna notice that much of a day-to-day -day difference on this one versus the previous M1 MacBook Air? Probably not, like everything is going to be pretty instant. But the biggest advantage of the previous MacBook Air M1 is it's $200 cheaper. And that's really the only advantage that I can think about if you're on more of a budget. But if you have 200 extra dollars, I highly recommend getting this MacBook Air M2 because you get the refreshed design. Like it feels like a totally new device and it feels like a really tiny, almost as powerful, almost as amazing Mac MacBook Pro 14 inch, but it's so much lighter. And this is definitely something I can see myself like throwing into a bag a lot easier. This is $800 cheaper than the MacBook Pro 14 inch. And that alone is the answer. Like if you're on more of a budget, 100% absolutely get the MacBook Air M2. The performance is not gonna be as good as the MacBook Pro 14 inch. But again, if you're just doing kind of basic stuff or even some light video, photo, music editing, etc., this is going to be a monster machine, even with this base model, eight gigabytes of RAM, 256 of storage. But yeah, I can already tell that I'm going to love this machine. Is it going to be as good as my MacBook Pro? Probably not, but for what this is, this is A plus chef's kiss and be sure to subscribe down below because I will be doing more content featuring the MacBook Air M2, including some comparisons versus the MacBook Pro. Like and subscribe and leave a comment down below on if you got the MacBook Air M2 or did you get a MacBook Pro, MacBook Air M1? I'm really curious what machine you are using. Add me on Instagram and Twitter at B3NAQUA. And also since you made it to the end of the video, comment down below with the crown emoji. And that lets me know that you are part of the hashtag Aqua fam that you are in it to win it. Thank you so much for watching this entire video. Hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.